Can't hear you, Jail. Yeah, you are not audible. No, you are not audible. Yeah, we cannot hear you. No problem. No problem. Cannot hear you. Yeah, if you want to reconnect, it might resolve the problem. Jaya, cannot hear. Okay, Jaya, I would request you to just uh, reconnect, and meanwhile, I will continue with the session, and I will start giving the topics. All right, our first speaker. Now I need to check who came first. Our first speaker is going to be Toastmaster Yashpal Gohil. Toastmaster Yashpal. Yes, sir. Your topic is. I have a dream. I have a dream, Toastmaster Yashpal. Over to you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Like everyone, I too have a dream. Not very ambitious, but I can say a generic dream to live the happy life with family and friends. To extend the dream, I can say that all my family members, all my friends, be happy. They can sleep at night. Maybe next morning they wake up, they also have their own dreams. And maybe we can weave a chain of dreams eventually so that everyone on the globe, everyone on the planet can be happy. <clears throat> I can see a smile on everyone's face, should be satisfied. They can get bread twice, a, uh, maybe lunch and dinner in a day. Maybe they can be happy with their family and friends with all the health and enough in their bank balance so that they can run the business. Maybe they can educate their children and they can live healthy and happy life. This is my dream and I want every one of your support to fulfill that dream. Over to you, DTM Amjatso. Thank you so much, sir. Beautiful. Everyone is requested to share uh, feedback to the speaker in in a private chat. Really appreciate. It. Our next sir, speaker I, is going to sir, be. Sir, I think we we need to. The, the day. Sorry. Word of the day. Word of the day. Yeah. Okay. Word of the day is prison. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. Our next speaker is going to be Dr. Farida. Dr. Farida. Yes. Dr. Fitha, your topic is giving up is a skill. Giving up is a skill. Toastmaster, Dr. Frida. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. My topic for today is giving up is a skill. Actually, I am a type A personality, so I don't give up easy. I generally tend to push myself to the limits. I think the skill part comes is when to give up. If you know when to give up and when to accept your failure, it's okay. It's okay. At least you tried. Um, rather try my hand at something rather than not try at all. If I don't try something, that is actually a complete failure. But if I try something and I know my limitations, if I have to give up at a certain point in time, it's okay. I accept that. But I do not consider that as a complete failure. I consider that a try well done. So that is my, uh, my message for today. That giving up is a skill, but give up with grace. Give up after you have given in your 100%. That is what's more important. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Doctor. Really appreciate Everyone is requested to share feedback to the speaker. Uh, meanwhile, can I check with Jaya Jaki? Are we good? 
to go or i can continue hello everyone are you able to listen to my melodious voice yes we can please go ahead please go ahead okay so i am going to call ajay for the next talk do we ajay yes i am here very much the topic given to you is god helps those who help themselves uh good evening everyone uh, and thank you so much uh, jaya for the topic god helps those who help themselves uh of course this is a very interesting subject uh, pardon me for expressing my opinion on this forum but i would like to understand what is the meaning of god uh i am not an atheist uh but i strongly believe that the thing which we call god is some power which is within ourselves it is nothing outside not in temples not in, this is of course a, it's it's touching upon a little bit of a taboo aspect of a religion but i'm not going into the religious aspect but just the general nature that you don't need to go to all these places to find god it's inside yourself and if you say god helps those who help themselves it's very evident and very simple to understand unless until you help yourself nobody else is going to come and help you unless until you realize that you are the one who is responsible for all your actions for all your deeds good or bad unless in that aspect i don't think anybody in this world will help you on this in this aspect so to i agree in a, in a way that yes god helps those who help themselves for a simple reason god is me inside me and only me and myself can help me and myself that's about it nothing beyond that over to you toastmaster jaya thank you now we will be taking 10 seconds pause to cheer the speaker so kindly appreciate the speaker toastmaster jaya and me you can continue you can continue the session let me call our next speaker Our next speaker is Arnab. Hello. Do we have? Yes, I'm here. Good evening. We have Arnab. Do we have Arnab? Yes, Arnab. 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 Yes,
luckily one other was also going to the same place just drew by and i got a lift so i thank myself that i was lucky that i i got a lift but i also realized that every time i won't be that lucky and i should remember to check my fuel tank before i drive with that over to you those master jay unmute yourself jay <laughs> Okay. Sorry for the technical glitches. Let's appreciate the speaker. And meanwhile, let me call Ranvi to the floor. Do we have Ranvi? Yes, I'm here. Okay. The topic given to you is talk about fan. Talk about fan. 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 so very energetic good evening to one and all present here i am gavilya ranbir and fan everybody interprets this in a different way some of us might be thinking that fan on the top but since i am a great fan of the english i take it as fan boys it's a acronym in english which is used to refer to conjunctions fan for you know those conjunctions for or rather all of these are my favorite i'm a great fan of english and i love connecting everything to english the other meaning of fan could be a crazy fan for superstar but i am a fan of myself as i love fan i'm sitting under the fan thinking who could be my fan who love fan boys hence i conclude by saying that everybody has their own perspective someone can say that this glass is half empty while the other can say half full hence fan can be interpreted by many people in many different ways and i interpret it in three different ways you people maybe all of us may be interpreting in 10 different ways so on this note that diversity we must encourage diversity as we get an opinion of everybody here this is a very good platform as we know that what are the possible opinions it can be i'm thinking of something else you are thinking of something else so if we get we can analyze and get the best solution so i conclude by saying that always encu encourage biodiversity and diversity as it helps to give the best result over to you awesome i'm feeling a frickle of excitement after listening to your interpretation of fan please give a round of applause to our gavler ranveer meanwhile let me call habi sudhan to the floor do we have habi sudhan yes yes i'm here okay your topic is what is the best thing you ever purchased that was 100 rupees 1000 Uh, what is the best thing i ever purchased that is 1000 that was 100 rupees 1000 table topic master fellow toast masters good evening to you the topic given to me is uh, what was the best thing which i purchased for 100 rupees 1000 i have little bit confusion about the topic anyway uh, one of the best things i have purchased recently was uh, a power bank and a hands free uh, i found it very useful nowadays especially when i move around and when i do cooking uh, in the kitchen or doing some household work so i listen to youtube videos while moving around at the same time i finish my duties i can listen to wonderful videos uh, audios so that is the best purchase that i have made very recently and i found it very useful this i got from a shop uh, where there was a sale going on uh, then i thought of buying even when i had one uh, already i had one uh, with me i thought of purchasing it because uh, of its uh, beauty it was so uh, its color was so attractive then i thought of purchasing it 
and also uh, i thought of buying something useful and this is the in this lockdown this is the one which i uh, found very useful thank you over to you table topic master Jay, yeah, you are muted. Jay, yeah, you are muted. Okay, next topic is for Toastmaster Daisy. Sir, I'm You are not audible, uh, Toastmaster Jaya. Okay, I'm giving the uh, next topic to Toastmaster Daisy. Are you there? Please unmute yourself. Toastmaster Daisy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, your topic is people who love the most. People who love the most are not loved back. People who love the most are not loved back. Over to you, Toastmaster Daisy. They are not people who love the most. They are not loved back. Yes, correct. correct. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, uh, DTM Amjitali. I think I agree with this uh, topic. People who love the most. They are not loud back. Um, they give up. They give everything to everyone around them. They don't care for themselves. Whatever they need, whatever even sometimes they go out of the way to sacrifice uh, their needs, and they go out of the way to help others and to show their love and affection to others. But sometimes they are not giving back what. Uh, the love they deserve. It happens. It happens every time. It happens. It has happened in uh, my friend's life. She went out of the way, uh, helping her own family in every possible way. She she will go there uh, to take care of uh, her uh, husband's uh, relatives whenever they needed, whenever they felt sick. But I felt that she was not loud back the way she should be, the way, the respect she should have been given, she didn't get back. So when you give your everything, sometimes the people don't realize the value. You should also hold back certain things. You should also show them that uh, your, your value should be shown. You should not just go and give everything selflessly. Sometimes you should hold back, then they will know that if you give everything, you will not get, get back uh, the love you deserve. Over to you, Toastmaster Amjit Ali. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Daisy. Really appreciate. All right, our uh, next speaker is going to be Toastmaster Sindhu. Yes, DTM Amjit, I'm ready. All right, your topic is one word only, which is given by our uh, table topic master, Jaya. Onion. Onion. Oh. Toastmaster Sindhu. Good evening, Toastmasters and guests over here. Onion. Okay, I would like to say a lot about onion. Actually, first of all, is it is one of my favorite vegetable. I should say that in all the curries, I don't have any curry without onion. And sometimes it helps me to cleanse my eyes. Actually. And in the protest, if I am crying, I just take an onion and cut before others. Or else in the front of, if there are many people, this onion saves me from a lot of situations where I don't have to express my emotions. I will just blame this onion. And it came for help at many times. And also, I know that it's good for hair growth. So always I take the juice of it and I apply on hair. And I think it has got a lot of uh, benefits we, we have a lot of benefits we can use it for several purposes and uh, finally we can say that that uh, the single house 
without I mean that's what I believe but I don't know about certain sections of people they don't use uh, but I feel that if you want to cook something good you have to use the onion so I feel that the flavor it adds to the food is like some people some people in our life they come and they add flavor to our life they make our life very beautiful like as I say that all the people over here and special regards to DTM I'm just conducting this particular tabletop session Actually, you are adding more to our life. So I would like to compare you to an onion. As far as I am concerned, I would like we have to take the things in different perspective, as our Gavia and we said. So I am excited to say, like to describe you that you added a lot of flavor to the life of all the people over here. So that's what I would like to say. And this is, uh, that's the thing which you have uh, given me as a topic is one of my favorite things. Thank you, and over to you, Diem. Thank you so much, Tosma Sindhu. Really appreciate it. All right, please uh, keep sharing your feedback to the speakers. Uh, next participant is uh, Shrishtha. Correct me if I'm pronouncing uh, if I'm pronouncing right. Shrishtha. Shrishtha. Tosma Savita. Yes, please. All right, Tosma yes. Savita. Your uh, topic is. What is your favorite cartoon character and why? What is your favorite cartoon character and why? Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Ritya Mamjad. Uh, favorite cartoon character. My favorite cartoon character, I don't know in this group if somebody knows or knows. I used to read, you know, when I was a small child, I was in uh, Hindi medium school. So my mother used to buy uh, uh, Hindi cartoon, small, small booklets. And the name of that cartoon book was Chacha Chaudhary, if anybody knows. Chacha Chaudhary was my favorite, you know, cartoon character. Even though he was so old, the way he used to handle each and every situation in his small village, taking care of children, taking care of needy people, special needy people, taking care of the women of that village. He was very brave with this big stick in his hand. He used to go to each and every house and ask what are their needs, if they need any help for anything, whether there's a water problem or electricity problems or any food problems. So he used to go to all the farmers and make everybody unite in that village and help all the people. So that helping nature and proactive nature, and at that age also, he was able to do anything for anybody. The character used to, you know, it, it just appealed me and used to help. Um, uh, I used to feel nice about that character because the same feelings, same things I used to see in my family. So Chacha Chaudhary was my favorite, you know, comic character. After that, I started reading when I grew up a little bit English um, um, novels also and uh, cartoon characters also. In that, I used to like Tom and Jerry. That was my, <laughs> that became, you know, the way he used to uh, run away or run about each, after everybody and then the way you play and uh, Everything about this, even I used to watch after that, they start, they, it started coming on the TV. TV. So, my favorite character, if I would say, it was Chacha Chaudhary. Over to you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Everyone, please keep sharing your uh, feedback to the speaker. Next speaker coming up on stage is Vlad. V L A D. Vlad. Yes. Are you there? All right. Yes. All right. Your topic is. Build a story around these three words, potato, house, and bulb. And what? Bulb, light bulb. bulb. Light bulb, okay. Yeah, potato, house, and bulb, over to you. People, since the world has begun, people have tried to be rich. And sometimes trying to be rich has made people forget about different 
other things that are important in life. For instance, your soul. There is a story that in Holland in the years 1600s or something, there was a, a stock exchange and they would exchange actually not shares, but flowers. And actually there is a flower, I don't know the English name is very famous from, uh, from the Holland, you know, it's, and it grows from a bulb. And they would sell these bulbs from person to person and those bulbs would increase in value until one bulb was a tulip. Yes, thank you, Cyril. Yes, a tulip. And they increase in value until one of them was worth a house. A house. But people were so crazy about making money, about getting rich fast. And they said, okay, if I'm going to buy this bulb, this tube bulb, I'm going to sell it for the price of two houses tomorrow or in a month. And what had happened? One of these guys um, was renovating his home. So he brought the bulb back, put it on the table, and the construction workers, they thought it was onion. So they just ate it. Of course, they didn't have a lot of money to repay the owner. So the owner just lost. Material things are good, are just as nutritious for the soul as potatoes, which are not really nutritious for the body. Potatoes are comfort food. We like them because they satisfy our need for, I don't know, something oily and with lots of calories, but they're not really nutritious for us. It's the same thing with uh, money and riches. It's not really nutritious for the soul. So don't go chasing fortunes. Go chase um, a purpose of your own being, of your own soul on this planet. Thank you. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you. Everyone, please keep sharing your uh, feedback. Next speaker is Tosma Savafa. Tosma Hello. Savafa. All right. Yes. Your topic is, you have become the prime minister. Give a speech for two minutes. You have become the prime minister. Give a speech for two minutes. Over to you. Thank you so much, uh, Table Topic Master. Uh, I have become the Prime Minister with a frisson of delight. I would like everyone to have your eyes and ears on me. I am your Prime Minister for two minutes. For these two minutes, I really want you to be grateful for what you have. Your strong internet connection your earphones, your computer, your phone, that we are still connected while there's a pandemic around us. I am your promise for one minute. In this one minute, I would like you to think what you want to achieve as a human being. Forget about who your rivals are. Forget about who is competing with you. Forget about everything that's around you, that's pushing you back, or your limitations that's inside you. I want you to jump over those limitations and go to the next one. I'm your prime minister for 30 seconds. And in this 30 seconds, when you jump over your limitations, think about the strengths that made you jump over those limitations. Think about the barriers that you've pushed them away. Think about everything that you've come far and turn around and pat yourself on your back. I was your prime minister for these two minutes. Thank you so much. I have loved this topic. Thank you, Madam Prime Minister. All right, next topic is for uh, Amit. Amit, you there? Amit. Next topic is for Jyoti. J Y O T I. Jyoti. Yes, sir. All right, ma'am. Your topic is if you could kill off any character from a current television show, who would it be? If you could kill off any character from a current television show, who would it be? Over to you. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Amjad Ali, but it's a, 
a tough topic for me if you want to kill any character from a present tv show i am not that adept at watching tv shows but uh, i would a little bit try to um, uh, divert this of course i will stick to the topic that much i promise but we can at this pandemic situation i think when life has um, it's topsy turvy initial stage but now we have settled down we have understood the essence of life and this is a blessing in disguise for us so i think this is a lesson that nature is uh, teaching us to kill the devil in us the devil means uh, the anger frustration many times we uh, tend to forget what life has endorsed us with uh, each and every one sitting here we have a beautiful life we are blessed with so many beautiful family members beautiful aspects and this is one of the beautiful moments which we are here connected with each other having beautiful moments spreading knowledge learning from each other i think what more you can ask from a life when you just look just switch on the tv and just go and for 5 minutes if you watch the uh, news you will realize how lucky we are i don't want to go into that because that creates so much of negativity although we cannot ignore that that's part of part and parcel of life that is what is happening now but yes if we can kill now i think this situation has taught us a lesson it's a boon in disguise of course not favorable for me also i don't like it but yes since i'm a very positive person i like to stick on positive things and this is what we can see is just be grateful as toast master buffer said this is the time nature is forcing us to be grateful because this is the lesson we have stretched ourselves to such an extent that now nature has to intervene to teach us this lesson i think with this we i would conclude by saying that uh, let us kill all the arrogance in us and just be grateful over to you, uh, toastmaster amjad thank you thank you toastmaster jyoti okay next topic is uh, for nandini nandini are you with us yes sir yeah all right great nandini your topic is if you could commit any crime and get away with it what would you choose if you could commit any crime and get away with it what would you choose over to you a uh, good evening table topic master you are putting me in a fix that i can't reveal it if i do it also but still i have to tell something um i think that um, i have never I, see for any human being we never admit that it is a crime but of course we say that we can able to confess something that what i can make as a confession is uh, that i'm just looking out for the timer i don't know see well, uh, i'm just looking at um, just, sir so so you please clap that time is over so what i can say as a uh, confession is that there are so many things uh, i i was not a good listener actually especially with regard to my children especially with my daughter so she is a very good listener but uh, it, it it made me at some point that i feel very low uh, why uh, it is also one of my confessions number two is i always got jumps into the conclusion with my family but not with this so these are all the crimes i feel because if i would be very cordial with them at some point especially when they are small i would it would not be a crime for me and uh, sometimes i feel that i have not given so uh, i mean i not the way how the other parents are it is not a comparison actually but because i was not uh, my priorities at that time was uh, uh, i mean um, earning finance i mean it does that so we had a financial crunch so i was not able to give the normal things which i could not able to give but uh, in spite of all these things i gave something i can i can tell you that the space and uh, the in spite of all the barriers i have but still i could able to give is the space so i'm very happy about it and uh, okay it's not a crime because i'm just uh, uh, see it is that we have yeah, i'm able to compromise that the 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 i always feel that for the children what we are going to give is the time uh, if we are not going to uh, do that then it is really a crime uh, because they are the one who can able to share their uh, uh, happiness and sor sorrow and if we are not there it is not because of me uh, i mean it, i'm not deliberately doing it's the situation is thing but still i feel it's a crime over to you don't give such a topic sir i'm i'm not a crime thank you <laughs> thank, thank you, you ma'am thank you now we know <laughs> all right uh, next topic is for pragya pragya are you there 
yes, I'm here. All right, Pragya, describe your life if you were a tree. Describe your life if you were a tree, Pragya. Great. Hello, everyone. Trees are something which are the most underrated ones. They give us so much in different forms. Something similar to what a mom does. It gives us fresh air, shelter, food items at times, fruits, whatever it can. And then one day leaves us without expecting anything. I can pretty well describe my life as a tree because I'm experiencing it as a mother too. Although most of the people say that the father is the roots of the tree, but I also do believe that without the, the, the whole uh, tree growing up, the roots will not be of any worth. When it comes to a father or a male member of the family, they always look forward to their female counterparts to support the tree, its leaves, and give that strength to its different stems, fruits, and anything growing up. For me, it's quite simple. If I were a tree, I would have been doing the same things which I am doing as a tree, giving as much as possible, donating myself, my life, for the people who will be coming under sh for shelter under me, giving the humanity around me the best thing I can. And that is my life, my growth, my development. Everything will be for them as it is now for my family and for my kids. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, next topic is for uh, Dinesh. Dinesh, are you with us? Dinesh. All right. Next topic is yes, for. Yes, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just uh, sorry. Uh, Please put your video on. Please, everyone is requested to put your video on because uh, this is on recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Your topic is, if you could be any age again for a, one week, for, for a week, what age and why? If you could be any age for a week, what age and why? Over to you. Thanks a lot, sir. Good, uh, good evening and uh, good morning to all the fellow Toastmasters and the guests. So uh, if I could be any age for a week, I can say it's of 21 or 22. So now currently my age is 26 or 27, where, you know, uh, currently in, in India, where parents force you to, you know, get married, uh, you know, um, move forward with your life. And, and but but uh, when I came out of my uh, engineering and when I joined my first college, and uh, that's when 21 or 21 years old and, and that's where like there is no tension there is uh, you know uh, you are all free uh, to enjoy and there is no responsibilities for you just go out and just uh, do your job and just go back to home and 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 then then um, you can relax and no responsibilities back then that you can uh, take a month over there but but the things are uh, different with the age and also you'll get a time to experiment at that time um, uh, to you know to look for the other options you can explore different things and then um, that's i feel 21 years uh, uh, of age and where you'll get take one week of time and that's the best age and uh, yeah uh, if i want to go back to that age uh, it's definitely 21 years thank you sir all right thank you so much uh, next to is uh, binal shah what's binal shah called binal shah please put your video on and your topic is complete the story. The line is the police arrived and asked everyone to. The police arrived and asked everyone to. Over to you. Good evening, everyone, uh, and Mr. Ramchad Ali. Um, uh, the topic which you have given me um, is uh, quite um, different. 
the police came uh, and here they have caught the uh, vehicles which were you know going <laughs> uh, like uh, was not um, um, monitored like not um, going as per the uh, rules and regulations and uh, like people <laughs> people were uh like um like police were insisting to give the you know to discipline these uh vehicle uh, these uh, drivers and uh, also to, they were uh, he was he was um, uh, monitoring the traffic and um and um and uh like people uh like there was a huge traffic uh, during it and it was a peak hours uh, and it was like uh, the traffic was near to Sheikh Zayed Road and so it was quite uh, uh, difficult to manage the traffic so they uh, police were uh, like um, con uh, was um, uh, uh, giving a um, uh, like a uh, police uh, was also giving um, uh, guiding uh, uh, drivers to to and uh, uh, sh giving the them the, to sh giving them to gi give the right directions <laughs> and uh, police uh, um that's it Over to you, all right thank you so much here. you did well you did well Proud of you, proud of you. Thank you so much. Uh, next one is uh, DTM Akil. Are you with us? DTM Akil. Okay, next one is Irangi. 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 Karan. Next is Karan. Yes, sir. All right, Karan, your topic is only one word breakfast breakfast uh, Karan. thank you dosh master anja breakfast every day morning i wake up and think of having a very good breakfast there is a saying you should have a breakfast like a king dinner like a prince and uh, so every day it excites me to have a different kind of breakfast. It gives you a full energy for a day. It sets a mood for the full day. If I don't have a breakfast someday in the morning, it makes me feel a little bit less energetic. And I always prefer to have a breakfast on a preferred time. I set my timetable schedule. I have a breakfast at 9 30 so even if i have i'll have one cup of tea with the breakfast it gives me a boost to my day and i have seen many people skipping a breakfast which i think it's not a good idea because it gives you a fuel and a couple of times i have also skipped a breakfast and i realized it is not good for my health and even though I prefer to have a, a huge breakfast and I try to skip a lunch sometime and there are many varieties in the breakfast I try to try different different culture breakfast sometimes North Indian South Indian French breakfast different kinds of breakfast and whenever I go out Sometimes I go, wake up early, speed up and go have a nice breakfast. And when I have a very heavy breakfast and I try to give myself to go for extra walk or extra running so that it helps me to balance it out. That's it. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Karan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, please keep sharing your uh, feedback uh, to the speaker. Next one is uh, Anil. Do we have Anil? Do we have Anil in the room? Next one is Anguilla. Anguilla. 
Can you? I am here. Yeah, can you can you can turn 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 on your video, please? Sure. Thank you. And your topic is your most proud moment. Your most proud moment, Anguilla. Your most proud moment. DTM Amjad, fellow Toastmasters and guests. My most proud moment happened at the age of 39 years old. What gave me that prisoner of excitement? My newborn daughter, my one and only baby girl. You could imagine my proudest moment. It was filled with joy, with excitement, with tears, with happiness, as the doctor gave me her, that tiny body in my hand. She held on to me, my finger, she held on to my finger, and she looked at my face, and I could not think about anything else that could have given me such pure pleasure, such joy, such emotion. It was really a special time for me as I thought that I would never have a daughter. I thought that I was not able to have one. But she came as a surprise, and she left me very proud. DTM, I'm glad. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anguilla. Thank you so much. Happy to hear you. Uh, please keep sharing your uh, feedback to the speaker. Next one is uh, Priscilla. Am I pronouncing it correct? Priscilla. 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 All right, Chrysilla, your topic is describe your life if you were iPhone. Describe your life if, you're li if you were iPhone. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Chrysilla, and um, the topic for today is to describe my life if I were an iPhone. I got that wrong. Um, so if I were an iPhone, let me think, this is very interesting. Can't say I've ever had this, to think about this before. If I were an inanimate object, I don't think I would be conscious of it. So, because um, an iPhone is an inanimate object, so I don't think it has the concept of consciousness. But uh, just say that I was in a cartoon and maybe, okay, I could feel what I was feeling. It would be feel it would feel really weird to have people keep on tapping on me all the time, and um, I kind of feel like a slave, having to keep on processing what everybody's asking me to do and just doing it for them. But um, I think it'd be pretty interesting to see what people are using me for, and um, yeah, what would I feel like if I were a phone? Huh. I wouldn't feel so good, I guess. I mean, having a but I think what would really make me feel good would be people wanting me and people coveting me. And what I really like about the iPhone is that I would be beautifully designed. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, so I don't think my life as an iPhone would be totally fantastic because I don't like being a slave. But it's better than being another phone. I mean, a phone of a lesser brand, uh, if I don't say it so. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's all I can think of. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, please keep sharing your uh, feedback to the speaker. Do we have uh, Anushri ji? Anushri. Yes. Anushri. Salam. Salam. Uh, okay. Your topic only... is, ma'am. Yes. Your topic is, are you existing or living? Are you existing or living? Over to you, ma'am. Good evening. I have a little problem with my 
uh, camera. But as your topic is saying, I'm existing or living. I'm first of all, I'm friskal to hear this, and it gives me a thought to think about myself whether I'm existing or living in a real world. Good evening, everyone. Yes, I'm just existing. And I'm trying to get purpose of my living in this world. I don't know about others, if they got their purpose, but I'm in that way. I'm trying to get my purpose of my life and I'm trying to find out. So I'm existing at, at this moment. I'm trying to do all those works, which a person has to do it, but I'm not yet find a human which was inside or living in, inside in me. I'm just existing uh, like all others, eating, uh, dancing, doing all the other work, but not yet getting a real purpose of living in this world. Uh, see, we all are talking about so much negativity when we turn on the newspaper, all this pandemic situation, all these things are there. But are we just spread a one happiness or positive thing? You know what happened yesterday with me? I was just trying to get searching in my purse two dirhams for parking, not getting a single dirham in my purse. And the person who was there, he just gave me ticket, you know, not help me. He just gave me because he was just taking out his car and just 10 minutes over. And this is the wonderful thing. And it gives me a right understanding why we are not helping each other. It's a very, very easy thing why we are not helping each other. So we are just existing, we are looking at each other, but we are not feeling. Without asking me, somebody is helping. So the real way we should find out, I'm on the way, maybe you are too. Over to you. Thank you, Tosma Sanoshri. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next topic is for uh, our DT master, Jaya Jaggi. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. All right. Your topic is, is a bit uh, tough one, but uh, go handle uh -huh. it. All right. Uh, you have two days left. You have two days left. How are you going to conclude with? You have two days left. How are you going to conclude? I, okay. Thank you, TTM Amjad. I would definitely do not want to die so early i have so much to do right now but here i really really want to share one thing that i don't make plans for 10 years or 20 years i always live the life that i might be die in a day i don't know why but this is something inbuilt uh, inherited or you can say i always plan my life for next day or two this is the reason i always try to achieve whatever my plans have i try to achieve them in the near future. I don't believe that we should make plans for 10 years and 15 years. Why do uh, we wait for? Or what, what is the reason we are waiting for to achieve those dreams? Why to wait for next 10 years to get a car? Or why to wait for next 10 years to try your, your favorite thing to do or to learn a new skill? I think it's now when you do. So uh, I personally say I won't have to wait, do anything special because I would live the life I'm already living. I will not do anything special. The only thing that I would do is I would meet my family because uh, I hardly meet people uh, these days, especially. So I would just go give a hug to my mom and I would tell her that I'm going to die. <laughs> and I would tell her not to cry, <laughs> be happy, I don't know. <laughs> because this is something, it, it's always in my mind. I always keep death in my mind. I don't know what's the reason behind it, but yes. And I hope this was the topic. I don't know why, but I'm just smiling and I think that I'm going off topic or saying something <laughs> exaggerated. I didn't get it. So it's making me more confused. But yes, if this is the topic, I would definitely say, do live your life the way you want to live. Don't wait for the last day. And this is what I am doing right now. I don't need a day or two more. I might die after this impromptu session. Over to you, uh, DJ. <laughs> 
God bless you to Swatsa Jaya. We are, we are praying for you. You stay longer, healthier, and happier with success. All right. The last one from my side, and the next one Jaya will be offering me, as she mentioned. Uh, this is for Arnold. Do we have Arnold? Uh, yes, I'm here. Please turn on. All right. Your topic is your favorite color and why? Your favorite color and why? Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Arnold Massey. My favorite color is Vip which is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. That's my favorite color, Vip Cure, because those are the colors of a red. And that's what reflect my life. I am a colorful person. I'm a creative person by heart. I work as a as a advertising creative professional. So I believe in colors. I look at colors to express myself. Uh, violet shows creativity. Indigo shows the cool depth which is inside you. Uh, blue is your corporate color which shows stability. Uh, green shows your vivaciousness, your your environment friendly side of yourself. Yellow is the color of jealousy, which we all are in a bit somewhat jealous to each other. Uh, uh, orange shows your color of the nature, which comes from you. From Orange can be a color, orange can be a fruit. So it's a color uh, indistinguishable. So you only need to look at it from a different perspective. And red shows the color of your fiery side how fierce you are as a competitor, how you can take up things and work on it. So, said a Toastmaster, that's what I urge you to do. Go with your, and someone asks you for a favorite color, don't choose one. Go around, choose the colors of rainbow because you will shine as the rainbow in the sky. Over to you, PMOD. All right, thank you so much. Uh, next is uh, Toastmaster Aryan. He messaged me, he came early, and I missed it, my bad. Hi, it's okay. Uh, Aryan, sorry for that. Uh, Aryan, the topic is if one thing you would like to teach the world, one thing you would like to teach the world, over to you, Aryan. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Uh, one thing, if I could teach the world, I have learned this a little late. I've just learned this recently. I would like to teach the world the power to give back to society. I never, I personally never cared about society that much. I was just an irresponsible kid until lately. I started going with my father to give food during this time of pandemic. And it started when I started giving the food to the people, the happiness that I saw on their faces, like the way I saw they were living, the way I saw they were having fun, the amount of happiness they received just seeing the food parcel, I realized how happy I am and how much I need to be grateful for how much I need to have gratitude in myself. So I believe if everyone look, gave back to society and would be grateful and would have gratitude for what they have, I believe they all can be much, much happier than they are right now. And I think that is the point of life. Everyone wants to be happy. So the, you will only understand how happy and how much you have when you see others, when you look at others. So I believe when you give back to society, society in a way gives back to you. I believe there is a force out there who makes sure you are receiving how much you are giving. And thus I feel when you want good for the others or you do good for the others, there will be someone who does good for you or you will do your good. Good will happen to you. Thank you. Over to you, Jaya. Thank you so much, uh, Aryan. Thank you. ATM Amjad, the topic given to you is, what is the most sensible thing you have ever heard someone say? Thank you so much, Madam Toastmaster, Madam Table Topic Master. The sensible thing I have ever heard from somebody. That was uh, laid back when I was hospitalized. I've shared this story many a times whenever I got a chance. When I was hospitalized, and uh, I was asked by the doctors to change my stretcher. And I was not able to do it. I was completely injured. 
my body has got more than 70 stitches. I was met with, it, with, it, with an accident. And uh, by that point in time, my father, uh, late, he was standing next to the stretcher. He's a great teacher, great mentor. He never taught us anything, but he showed us everything. He took us along to the paths he traveled. He didn't say any single word. I don't remember honestly speaking, but I lived life with him hard way. He stopped everyone to help me change my stretcher. He said he will do it by himself. Everyone was shocked. But how did he, how will he do that? He's completely injured, he cannot move. He said he will do it. I don't know how, but I did it. I took five minutes, but I did it. Then I saw tears in his eyes. Now I'm getting in my eyes. These wise words I heard from him. This is how we become strong people. When somebody stands next to us and tell us, do it. That's what we are doing right now with the help of this session. We are encouraging everyone, supporting them, giving them shoulder, accepting them the way they are, and they will do something great in their lives. That's what I'm trying to achieve in my life. That is what I have heard from my father. There are many things, but this is what I could remember right now. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, DM. It was really inspiring. All right, Tosmas Jaya, I think you're breaking. I'm muting you. Uh, can I go back to our uh, Madam Timer to read the timing report, please? Um, everyone spoke within the time limit. Uh, TTM, I'm just, I'm not taking the, all the time. So you are muted. Everyone was within the time limit. All right, ma'am. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. My yeah. humble apology for everyone who were not called up on stage. Reason we have limited time, only one hour, and we are trying to accommodate as much as we can. Please come join us in every session if you like to inculcate public speaking skills, if you like to conquer your public speaking fear. Trust me, this is something we are doing three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday and Friday, 8 p.m. UAE time to 9 p.m. We speak only two minutes, but for the rest of the hour, we listen and we empower other people. This is one way of giving back. I will keep repeating these lines because these are moving people. Thank you so much with that power vested me as a host of this meeting. We adjourn the meeting. Now you have a few minutes to gel with each other, introduce yourself. Over to you, everyone. Amdaji, can I make